Hi, I'm Dave Andrews. Today I'm going to show you how to download and install Adobe Shockwave Player. Let's go to our computer. I'm going to open up Internet Explorer as our web browser. Now let's go to adobe.com, www.adobe.com, and press Enter. Now from their main page, I'm going to go to the download section and then click on Get Shockwave Player. This is going to take me a page that's uh, going to allow me to download and install that Shockwave Player. As you can see, it's 3.33 megabytes, which will go extremely fast on a broadband connection, but might take about 15 minutes or so on a dial-up connection. From here, I'm going to agree to their policies and install the software. Now it's taking me to a page that has a Shockwave plugin, and it's going to want to download and install the plugin in order to display that. So on Windows Vista, you have to be an administrator to install software. So let's click Continue. Next, click on Install. It's actually downloading the Shockwave player now and installing it into the browser. As you can see by this message, you get a progress bar for the download and the installation. Now let's ask if I want to include the Google Toolbar in my installation. For this demonstration, I'm not going to. I'm going to uncheck that. You can install it or not install it, depending on your preferences. I'm going to click Next. Now, it's telling me that the website wants to connect to an outside server. I'm going to allow that. I'm going to allow again. And my installation of Adobe Shockwave is complete. I'm Dave Andrews, and I've just showed you how to download and install Adobe Shockwave Player.